The game is Astroneer. In this video, we're going to be talking about the auto extractor, how to set it up, and how to run it with a 400 unit container or canister. Sorry. Um, so I found this little area here with a lot of resources near my base. It has some uh, basic resources, but what I'm looking for is ammonium. Um, but when I'm done this, I'll be able to just move this setup to here, then to here, then to here, and just kind of extract this whole area. But uh, let me just go over real quick the... Why is there a big dust cloud right here? I'm going to stand in the middle of the dust cloud and um, just kind of go over the setup real quick. So you'll need an auto extractor, of course. You'll need a large resource canister. Now, again, you can utilize a media... <laughs> Like, does this look like a face? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry. You can you can utilize a medium, which holds 32, but that uh, takes about 30 minutes to fill up. So every 30 minutes, you got to run around and check your auto extractor. Um, you know, long term, you want a 400 large resource canister and set that up. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to put this on the top. Like you can with the other one, so you kind of you kind of got to get a little um, intuitive or inventive would be the word I'm looking for. So anyway, auto extractor, large resource canister. You will need a large platform C to place everything on. I tried the smaller large platforms, and it just doesn't work. The arm will not place into the canister because they're too close together. You will need two to three RTGs to power it. Two will get you almost there. Um, it would be perfect to do the auto extractor, so I'm assuming auto extractor is 8 units if each RTG is 4 units of power. Um, but with the arm, the arm takes up a unit or 2 of power, so you need a third if you want to have 100% power. Don't need it, don't need to be at 100%, but uh, you know, if you have plenty of RTGs laying around, why not? Um, the other things I would recommend is extenders, and I'll show you why, because the way you have to put this platform up high in order to get the re <laughs> that face is tripping me out <laughs> up high every time you have to uh, uh blah, 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 blah. that face is messing me up so the extenders are so you can connect to the power because uh, you're gonna have to put the platform up high near the crazy face that's tripping me out every time i look at it and then uh, a beacon i recommend having a beacon just so you don't lose it in your world now mine's close to my base so i doubt i'll lose this but um, it's always good to have a beacon on your vehicles and your platforms and stuff like that so one of the key things i wanted to show everybody just to make sure everybody's aware of is that when you put this down it's going to gauge how much resources it's going to be able to extract and that's what this little bar here is for so it has this green uh, amount so that's not very much uh, i'm not sure what the exact amount that this shows is if it has a cap um, but based on when i was extracting when it was completely full and then waited a little bit to see where it was at i'm thinking four to five hundred is what that bar re uh, that gauge represents but what you want to do is kind of just put this around the resource you want. See how it jumped up a little bit. Usually in the middle is going to be the best. I'm assuming it has a maximum depth and a maximum radius. So you kind of want to get it in the middle of the resource. So you get all the resources. Um, you can get it full. I have gotten it to full before. Um, I've pre-built this ramp also. Um, just to kind of make the video go a little quicker. To where the center of this should be. But any, any point in here will be good. That face is tripping me out. Look at that. That's crazy. I never noticed that until just now. Oh, oh, wee. Anyway, um, so what you want to do is just set your RTGs on the platform. You want to position your arm on the front here so the green is facing forward because that's going to grab the material and then put it in a canister. I do like to leave one or two of these slots open just in case there's some kind of misalignment with the canister. The arm will put it here and then the canister will suck it up. But uh, let's get this up on the platform so you can kind of see how this operates. And then we'll have to fiddle with the uh, getting in the power hooked up and you'll see why you need extenders for that. So basically you just want to build a little platform up here uh, out of soil. Get this aligned to where it'll be at the top. When this fills up, it'll fill these two resource nodes, and then basically what you want is your arm to grab them. So you want your green arrow or green area on that. So that looks good. 
That looks good. And then we need to hook the power up to the extractor. And that's where the extenders come into play. Oh, can I just hit use from here? No. Put it in my backpack. Oh, it's been so long since I use extenders, I almost forget how to use them. Let's see if this works. There we go. So what you want to do is just get it hooked up. So I'm going to put a cable there. Um, probably put an extender right here. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that with the extenders drag it out to the maximum area where you need it and then hit the V button and it'll pop it down. I don't use extenders that much. There we go. Probably could have did that with one extender but you know whatever. So now we just turn it on. That's it. Plain and simple. And <laughs> that face is driving me nuts man. Look at it. Um, sorry. So now you just wait for the resource to come up. I just want to verify that the arm is aligned properly and working. So I'm just going to kind of hang out here for a minute while it builds up its resource. As you can see, because we have three RTGs, it's working fine. Oh, you know what? Those extenders must use some power because that I had more power last time. That's interesting. But it is fully 100%. You know, as long as this bottom half is in reaching that you're you're at a hundred percent required power I think the extenders use some let's just validate that the arm is working we'll take it when it lifts up oh it would help if I turn the arm on so there we go arm is working it was able to snatch it up and um, basically it'll fill this all the way up and then you only have to come out and check it every, you know, 400 minutes or so. So I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. I hope you kind of understand what you have to do to use, use these uh, large resource canisters that hold 400. If anybody knows of a better way of doing it besides hooking up this ramp, if there's a way to extract the uh, items from the auto extractor, uh, other than putting a platform up high and using a hand to grab it or using a uh, auto arm to grab it, let me know. I'd, I'd appreciate it. But this is the best way I could come up with to kind of make it efficient. But it's very weird to me like that. There you go. Yeah, it's going to work. It's very weird that they don't let you pull from here with the arm. I tried this where it comes out of here and then goes up. I tried to grab that with the arm. It wasn't working. So I don't, I don't know if maybe I did that wrong, but I think they should like at least let you set up so the arm can grab here so you can just put like a platform down on the same level. It's kind of strange. But uh, anyway, like I said, I hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if you did, please give the video a like. That helps the channel. If you're not a subscriber, as always, you're more than welcome to become a subscriber to my channel. Uh, I post a lot of videos about games that I like to play. And... Um, I think I play some pretty decent games, so you might find something on there that you like. Thank you very much for watching, and let me get out of this dust cloud and wave goodbye to you, and I'll see you in my next video.